subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is simple fleshy fruits chapter morphology of flowering plants simple fleshy fruits now simple fruits are fruits that develop from a monocarpillary or a polycarpillary syncarpus ovary these simple fruits can be divided into two types fleshy fruits and dry fruits fleshy fruits are the one in which the pericarp is thick and is divided into epicarp mesocarp and endocarp endocarp while dry fruit in case of dry fruits the pericarp that is the wall of the fruit is thin and membranous in today's video we'll try we'll study about the different types of fleshy fruits the first type of fleshy fruit is drup drup is also referred as the stone fruit it develops from a monocarpillary superior ovary it has or the perica has a thin epicarp thick and fleshy mesocarp and hard and stony endocarp that encloses a single seed best examples are the apricot dates coconut cherries mango almond now these are all examples of the drup the edible part is the epicarp and the mesocarp while in coconut the edible part is the endosperm while in almond the edible part is the seed next type is berry also known as bakka now the fruit develops from a monocarpillary or polycarpillary syncarpus ovary the ovary may be superior or inferior now the fruit has a thin epicarp fleshy meso and endocarp and the seeds are attached in exile placentation when the fruit is young the seeds are attached to the placenta but upon maturation they separate from the placenta or they get detached from the placenta when young 
you will find that the seeds they remain attached to the placenta but upon maturity they get separated from it example of buckaw berry is guava which has an inferior ovary tomato that has a superior ovary banana grapes brinjal so these all are examples of baka or berry the edible part all the part of the fruit is edible that is apicarp mesocarp endocarp and even the seeds next pepo now the fruit develops from a polycarpellary syncarpus inferior ovary where parietal placentation is seen means the ovary is unilocular but due to the presence of a false septum it becomes multilocular appears to be multilocular but is not multilocular now the fruit is divided into apicarp mesocarp and endocarp all of which are edible along with the seeds this is the characteristic of family cucurbitaceae that is your cucurbita family which includes cucumber pumpkin watermelon next is pome pome is a false food in which the thalamus forms the fruit and is the edible part the actual fruit is present within the thalamus it is present inside and it develops from a polycarpellary inferior ovary having seeds in it example of which is apple and pear now the actual fruit lies within this is the actual fruit which is polycarpellary having seeds in it developing from an inferior ovary while the edible part is the thalamus next is hesperidium now hesperidium is seen in citrus fruits that is lemon oranges the fruit develops from a polycarpellary syncarpus superior ovary with exile placentation now the apicarp of the fruit is leathery and has oil glands on it mesocarp is fibrous white in color while the endocarp forms the chambers or the cavities inside which lie the juicy placenta hairs 
which are the edible part of the fruit now this is the epicup which is leathery in texture then the white one is the mesocarp endocarp forms these cavities or the chambers while these are the juicy placenta hairs next is ba balusta it is a multilocular means has many cavities many seeded fruit developing from an inferior ovary now the peri pericarp in this fruit is leathery hard a persistent calyx is found in attached to the fruit while the edible part are the juicy testa that is the seed coats example is pomegranate that is anar these are the edible part that is the juicy seed coats so such fruit is known as balusta and last is amphisarca now this is a many chambered or multilocular fruit developing from a polycarpellary syncarpus superior ovary now the pericarp in this case is woody the this is the pericarp which is woody while the placenta is fleshy the edible part of the fruit is both the pericarp and the placenta example of such fruit is eagle that is wood apple so these are the different types of fleshy fruits in the next video we'll study about simple dry fruits that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below Thank you thank you for watching